Very rarely when given two choices will we be so torn between the choices that we can't actually pick. There will generally be some kind of criteria that leads you to pick one over another. And even if you don't fully know it, if you think about it over time, you come to a decision. This is something that Jesus underscores for us in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 6, 24, where it says, No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. The interesting thing is that those who tend to serve the things of this world often feel that service to God gets in the way, that it gets in the way of their joy and their satisfaction, that God is trying to take away their joy by requiring X, Y, and Z. And the reality is when we have this mindset, we are blinded truly to the things of God. And we begin to really focus. Our preference comes back down to this thing, the service of things of earth. And the reality is that when we are serving the things of earth, we will end up hating God because we just don't trust that his way is right. But if we are truly interested in serving the things of God, those things will give us ultimate satisfaction that we won't find in the treasures of this earth. Another point I want to call out for you is that um, the last word in this verse is translated as money. It's really not that. What Jesus is identifying is that the, the concept of treasures or riches where they are personified and opposed to God. And this is important because Jesus is saying, are we worshiping things, even concepts like fame, things of this world? And instead of worshiping God that same way, we are allowing them to take God's, God's value and diminish it. We are really pursuing the things of the world more than the things of the Lord. Those become the masters that we serve and the pursuit of those things lead us to hate God because he gets in the way. This is really what this whole verse is about. It's about torn heart. And the thing is, even if we think we can really balance it and walk serving things of earth and things of God, we can't. Our heart, whether or not we acknowledge it in our head, will ultimately pick one. What you value most will emerge as the winner. Something for you to think about today. Blessings on you.